Hey everyone, welcome to this next Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have JN Silva. What were your goals for this Click Create edition? You know, with the theme of transcendence, uh, to me, you know, my goal is just for the viewer to take this piece in and, you know, essentially just feel a calming sense of peace. I, you know, it's a photograph that turned into a, an animation. I also made the music for it. And I think the effect that I would want the viewer to have is just, you know, I want them to pay attention to it and uh, leave the rest up for interpretation. What advice can you offer to aspiring digital artists? My advice to any aspiring digital artist is to always stay curious, always follow your intuition, always keep learning, uh, always be true to yourself, be genuine in you know what you make, make things that you enjoy making. You know, don't don't make things just to get someone else's approval. Uh, do it, you know, for your own sake, and you know, do it to express yourself. And you know, you you are very unique in your own way. And find, you know, what it is that makes you unique, and make art about it. What are you most proud of in your career as a digital artist? For me, the, the, the top of my accomplishments would be to uh, have sold a piece of art uh, via Sotheby's last year for their contemporary art auction. It was a very big deal for me because, you know, I, at the time I was the first Venezuelan NFT artist to ever sell through Sotheby's. Uh, you know, in that same auction, there were some absolute masters of art. You know, there were Picassos, there were Monets, or Bansies. Just to be included in you know, even in that book with all of those artists, to me, it was a big milestone that, you know, couldn't pass up and I'm super proud. What is your favorite movie quote? My favorite movie quote is from uh, Inception. Once an idea has taken a hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. I think it's a very powerful concept just because, you know, it, it shows that it could go both ways. It could be either a good thing or a bad thing, and I think that's very true. So I try to kind of foster ideas that I know are positive and, and beneficial. And, you know, the, the more you kind of like nurture those good ideas, then, you know, you bring them to fruition.